point Oklahoma City lead. Westbrook, tucking the hammer, pulling the trigger, and one. Russell Westbrook, biggest play of the ball game, um, emphatic slam, Thunder win at 118-110. How about this stat line for Russ? 41 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. That is triple-double number 29. The triple doubles are amazing, but more impressively is his fourth quarters. He's been amazing in the clutch. That's even more impressive to me than the triple doubles. Couldn't stop him at the end of the ball game. We welcome you into the show. I'm Brian Keating. That's Carson Cunningham. Time it crash, is time. Crash the boards. It's an abbreviated version because we had the Oscars, so we got to go. We got to go a little shorter here. But it is Oscar night. Oscars so edition of Crash the Oscars Boards. Let's Oscars theme this thing. I, I will just set you up this way. Um, kind of look at the whole season, but. Um, as we look back, the Oscar goes to... Well, I'm still kind of on a high, a honeymoon, so to speak, from the trade deadline. Yeah. I'm going best director for Sam Presti. Oh, he basically gave okay. up. Just This trade isn't going to like make huge waves in the Western Conference by any means, but the Thunder got better. They gave up three guys they really didn't want to play. Cameron Payne had struggled. Joffrey Laverne was a bit part player. And Anthony Morrow, they clearly didn't want to play either. They gave all those three guys up for two competent Legit NBA yeah. basketball player. Taj Gibson's already given them something. Yeah. Doug McDermott's a guy they're going to have longer term contract. They're going to be able to develop him, get him in that Thunder system. So Sam Presti just continues to win just about every single trade he's ever made, and that's hard to do in the NBA. Sam Presti, give him a gold statue. I, I think Sam Presti, too, and, and the way that the season didn't fall apart when Kevin Durant left, part of that's Sam Presti. The other part of it's certainly Russell Westbrook, and came up with a couple of movies, and I'm going to go best picture here. Uh, when Kevin left, it could have been Skyfall. <laughs> could have been Les Miserables. Definitely Les Miserables. But, but it wasn't. Um, instead, I think it's... Arrival. Oh, timely. See, right, timely right. Uh, I just saw was, that. was up for uh, one of the Oscars tonight. Arrival of Russell Westbrook as not just Kevin and Russ. We knew he's, he's one of the top five players we thought in the NBA. He now he the, might be the best. He, he's the favorite to win the MVP. Russell Westbrook arrived. I could have gone with. Uh, hell or high water, but <laughs> Russell was going to figure it out somehow, but uh, a rival, Russell Westbrook. It, it could have been Titanic this summer <laughs> after Kevin left. <laughs> so, it's so, not, though. So let's finish it like this. Um, what, Speaking of What Russ. film do you think, and I gave a couple of them, but I've got some others. Uh, what film you think best describes what we've seen out of Russell oh, Westbrook Oh, it's one of 60 it's, games? It's one of my favorites, one of the best movies of all time. The Godfather? <laughs> Not high, that's usually my go-to answer. I'm going with Braveheart. Russell is leading yeah. the troops into battle. And this is a lot of similarities here. Russell is William Wallace. Kevin Durant is Robert the Bruce. Who betray it's hard to oh, watch Braveheart when, when William Wallace gets betrayed by Robert the Bruce. It's hard to watch. Kevin joined Longshanks and the Golden <laughs> State Warriors. But Russell is a, right. Russell's a natural-born leader. <laughs> Russell really is the alpha. He's the natural-born leader. He's leading this team into battle, a.k.a. the playoffs, and not many people thought that could have been possible when Kevin left. Robert the Bruce. Robert the Bruce, Kevin Durant, <laughs> like Longshanks, the Warriors. Uh, Interstellar, uh, Russell Westbrook, how about Interstellar? He, he lives in the clouds and the stars yeah. and whatever you want. I mean, the play we showed you at the beginning, I mean, he does something every night that makes you get up out of your seat. Even when I'm sitting in here working, you, you just see something. You go, oh, my God. We're hollering in the sports see? department. <laughs> uh, interstellar, it's that kind of season. The guy's on pace to average a triple-double for the first time for anybody since 1961 and 1962. I think he's going to be the MVP. He's, he's not only putting the Thunder into the playoffs. They, they have a chance to get up to six, five, four. We'll see what happens in the playoffs. But interstellar, Russ.